Fridge magnets have always been cheap souvenirs, but there's a reason they never go out of style. They hold memories and we see them every single day on our fridge door. Now imagine the power of combining AI, 3D printing and the memory of someone you love, a relative, a friend or even a pet. How much do you think people would pay to internalize these memories in the form of a magnetic sculpture? That's exactly what we made possible with SCLAI. Turn any photo into a 3D collectible emotion in the form of a fridge magnet. And the best part, beyond keeping your memories alive, this can be a great business opportunity. Come with me and I'll show you how in today's video. The first photo is this dog that I had in my high school. It was a super important dog in my life. So I wanted to do a little fridge magnet to remember of him. This was the first one. The second one, I did one for myself. Obviously, I had to do it. So I did one with my own face on it to give it to my parents. And the last one is this one that I took on a trip to China that I did this year. That was a very special trip. And I wanted to remember this moment, but this one I did on a slightly different format. And I'll show you how to do it as well. Kind of like hacking the system that we have built. I hope the product team here at STL Flicks don't get angry. So now let's start by clicking on magnetized portraits inside STL AI. And in here, as always, you can use one of the heads you have already generated, but in this case, I wanna generate some new ones, all right? So dragging in the first image. In here, we have the filter to change the expression, but I'm just gonna keep it no filter because I wanna keep the expression that I have in this image, but you can always do it if you want to. You can always change the expression. Okay, so now that the 2D is generated, we can start by generating the 3D. Now that the 3D is generated, I gotta customize the magnet a little bit. I'm gonna adjust the position. I'm gonna write down my name. I'm gonna move it down so the ears are not touching the, are touching the print bed. Top view, just make sure that everything is correctly. Front view, let me just move this up a little bit. And now I can finish it up. I can even put myself with a bow tie, but I'm not doing that. And then finish. Now let's make the second one. And for this one, let's go and try it now. I'm gonna put the picture of my dog. Generation is done. Now it's time to position my magnet. I'm gonna write the name Bart and I'm gonna finish it up to download the model. And for the last one, instead of generating directly at the magnetized portraits, I'm going to generate a mini flexi and use that mesh to create the magnet. And now since this is not a head that was generated directly here inside the magnet maker, I'm gonna I will have to position this a little bit different. I'll have to scale it up, make sure I have the proper position. And on the front view, I want to write China Trip 2025. And there you go. And this now is a cool little memory of this photo that I have that is from the trip that I did to China this year. This is a cool magnet that I can have in my fridge as well. So now finish it up and export. So I put these three magnets in the same build plate. This is an A1 mini. It's a creative way to do it and it also spares time and it spares a little bit of the filament waste. This blue filament right here, I'm not even using it. So I can decrease a little bit the amount of color changes and the amount of filament used to make this product cheaper for me to print as a hobbyist, but also more profitable if I'm doing it for profit. So let's slice the plate and see the result. And now I have all my magnets done here. This is the Bruno one, the first one that I did. My childhood dog, a very important dog for me. I have his magnet now that I can keep on my fridge. And this memory of the trip that I did to China, China 2025 is a good memory, a memory that I like to keep. So I have these three magnets, which are incredible memories for me, but they can also be a great source of revenue as well. So now calculating the cost in here, getting the time, the amount of filaments that I use, everything that I have already explained in a different video that you can find here in the channel per unit, per magnet, it's gonna cost me $1.38, which means that if I put a four times markup, the consumer price could be $5.82. And if you wanna do retailers, which would be half of it so that the retailer can have his profit as well, you could sell for retailers at $3 in case like you want to make customize of your city, customize of a mascot from your high school team. I don't know, there are different ways that you can think about this into a commercial product, but you can also do it as a customizable product, which is very valuable, has a lot of value. People pay a lot more for customizable products. And this is how would you apply the price for this product. So let me know in the comments below, how would you sell these as a customized product or as a standard of something of your city that perhaps 
no other artist would even make, but you can make it yourself. And if you want to find all the links of things that I've used in this video, STL Flix, which we have more than 3,000 models available with commercial license, STL AI, which I use to generate these magnets, and our pricing calculator, which is completely free of charge that you can use as well. All the links are in the description of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any cool ideas of stuff that we could make, we're using the AI, not using AI. If you want to understand better pricing, if you want to understand how you would position any type of product in the 3D printing space, let me know in the comments below and perhaps you can help us to think about the next content. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe our channel and I'll see you in the next one.